Hello everybody, welcome to a game called Freight Tycoon Incorporated. This is a new game, well, it's a new game on Steam, it's early access and a, it's made by a, like, starting up game developer. And I, it, it, it was, it's three ninety nine, dollars and I read the reviews and two of them were, you know, unhelpful, but the rest were encouraging and saying that, you know, it, it's good, so I thought I'd try off my shelf and my shelf and show you guys what the game's all about. Liberty Supply Inc. You can spell that one. Liberty. Liberty Supply Inc. Let me show you. Okay, good. So we're gonna do a tutorial because I'm good at. I like tutorials. They kind of help you move along the world. True story. I like the music. Cha -ching. Hello, welcome to the train mission. Here we will help you to master the basics of managing a transportation company. Money and recognition are waiting for you. Press OK to continue. Hold on. Now you can move around the map and control the camera. Look around when you're ready to continue with our training. Press OK. Use the mouse wheel to zoom the camera out. If you do not have a mouse wheel, hold the left and right mouse buttons at the same time. Move the mouse. That's nice. That's actually really nice. So That's nice that they add that in. You may now explore the map when you're ready to continue the tutorial. Press OK button. Ch -ch Let's go on. Look in the upper left corner of the screen. 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 There you will find the primary game parameter. And the amount of money in your account. That is so true. Look at the right bottom corner. There you will find the game time control panel. With the help of the panel, you can adjust the speed of game time, for example. These are there are three speed type modes and a pause mode for and a pause mode is available. Okay, so not the best spelling, but eh, understandable. In order to adjust the game's speed, you should press a corresponding button. Try various game speeds and press OK. Let's pause it for now. Good, you can use the map to control the situation there. All on prices, garages, offices, roads, and maps are, sh are predicted on the map. Your cars and houses are shown with your color. Game events that should attract your attention are highlighted. Any transportation company needs a garage for the purchase. Prepare and storage of cars. Let's buy this garage. First of all, you should open the garage window by clicking on it. If you can also open, you can also open the window by right clicking on a second on that. Oh wow, I'm rusty. Buy the garage. Now the garage is going to come in your first car. Please know the bookmark with the title of the garage. That's useful. You can see when I go with an empty space for a car, you can move the car with one click on there. Okay, that's good. So there's not. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, this is a German game. Kurz, Kurz, Hawk, and Amber. Yeah. In the car market, when you find out car settings, body type, and just because you find additional cursors in the bottom part of the screen. If you move the cursor to a car you want to know about, in order to buy a car, drag it into an empty car's garage site. So, oil. Leg swings is better on that, and speed's better on this, but. Eh. That's nice. Oh, good. Oh, you can even see it. That's cool. 
You have bought your first car. It occupies this place in the garage, and its icon is visible on the left, under the bookmark with the garage title. To the right of the car icon, you can see the problem indicator. It informs you that the car does not have the driver. If you want to hire a driver, click on the blanking problem indicator, and you will see a labor market window. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really... In the labor market, you can see all the drivers available for it, along with the descriptions. Additional information can be seen in the bottom part of the window by moving the cursor into a person interested in it. So I chose wisely, I guess. Okay, so you, they need a license, and currently this guy has the right license because I have a container truck, I believe. Yes, okay. So, sure who can drive your car and drag him to the card icon on the left. There we go. Now the car is driving can transport cargoes between different empires. One of the empires of Heaven Industry Plant is located in the northern part level. You can move to it by clicking on the blinking area of the map. Nice. Heaven Industry. In order to start working with an enterprise, you need to sign a contract with them for cargo transportation. A card contract with an enterprise is to where and what amount of cargo to transfer and also states the amount of bonus for a successfully complete contract. Click on enterprise to open list of his contracts. Okay. That's what I want to do. <coughs> yeah, I'm good at that. Okay, now my truck has a... As soon as the contract is signed to a car, it proceeds with its implementation automatically. There we go, see it? Right there. If the car is lifted from the contract door, so the car will go to the nearest garage of your company on this side. When now, when all is set, you can accelerate the game time, increase the game speed up to the maximum weight. Okay. So, and if we go up here, we can see our car. Right there, see? Let's go. Oh, cool, they even have, s oh, wow. You know, it's that level of detail, like, it's not like the car has, like, a box or something, but it actually gets the box put on it. Which is just the Liberty Supply Company. Incorporated. Nice. Now you've received your first profit. The first stage of transportation is over when the client has submitted you the first check. Accepted. The profit has not covered the car cost yet, but batteries are yet to come. Proceed with the contract. Okay. Attention, the car's broken. Great! I knew I should have bought a better car. Not really. Press the match below to move to the accident site or click on the blinking signal on the map. Oh dear. Good job, guy. So the car's broken. During normal gameplay, cars do not break down so quickly, but we cheat a bit for the sake of truth. Thank you. Let's see, the breakdowns can be a three severity levels. Light breakdowns, which can be solved by a driver on his own, right there on the road. Average breakdowns are fixed by teams which arrive on a barrier truck. And lastly, in case of the most complicated accidents, the car has to be towed to the garage repair. We have faced a very serious car breakdown. Your driver has to wait for a tow truck. Nice. Okay, I have to... Okay, so I have to hire a technician. Repair department.
Honestly, he's better. Good, now the technician can repair cars in your garage. Repair takes quite some time, but the more technicians are in your garage, the higher qualified they are, the faster they will repair the broken car. Some time will pass before the tow truck delivers the broken truck to the garage, and the technician will get down to repairs. Okay, so let's have a look at your office now. Like garage windows, they can open. You can open office windows in a variety of ways. The fast one is to click them on the bottom part of the screen. Let me be supply incorporated. Okay. Managers are working in the office. Managers are highly like candid. There's a tow truck. Heh! <laughs> Oops. Okay, they can make entire business branches by HR managers, increase personnel cost, each contract managers arrange better contract lists, but these guys are probably the course possible to just stop the entire building with white colors. But I actually need a manager apparently. Yeah, I need a car manager. Well, she, not a he. You're better experienced, I'm hiring you. Here we go, switch to information bookmark. In review, the summary characteristics for the managers. The optimization of character, option, operations characters has increased due to the employment of the manager. Now your cars will, now your cars will age more slowly, sorry. You drink water. And that means they will not break down rarely. That they will break down rarely. Hmm. Switch to information book for my train. Nice. Oh. The game world around you is developing. The more dynamically you work with enterprises, the faster they will develop and they will provide more profitable contracts. Good business will develop cities and roads as well as contribute to establishing a new enterprises. This will be your merit. Nice. You can see it right here. They're, they're building new stuff right here. That's really cool. Congratulations on completion of the train mission. Now you're ready to manage the transportation company. Good luck. <sighs> Sweet! <laughs> okay, guys. That was a look. That was a look at Freight Tycoon Incorporated. I like it. I like it. it it's a good idea. And I haven't encountered any problems yet. I like the way the system's set up. There's no like complicated marketplace where you have to look through everything by a certain thing. It's all right at it's all already categorized by the different buttons you click. And those buttons already correspond to what you need to get. Which I really like. And I really like the UI. And I like the I like the graphics. It's like a It's not fancy, but it's very relaxing. It's very relaxing. It's, it's not glaring. It's not filled with color, but it's nice and relaxing. I like it. I like it a lot. But of course, you guys get the final say in what you think of it. I like it. And if you want me to do more games like this, I will glad I'll gladly make a let's play of this game. Of course, it won't go on forever, but I, I think it'd be nice to do a let's play of this. Maybe it will finally get me back into recording videos. I've been away for a while for homework reasons and project reasons. Reasons in general, but yeah. So um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. I, I've been Liberty 0522, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. <laughs>